Hey filmmaker Shung here. In this video I want to talk about the new title tool inside of Premiere Pro CC 2017. And I have to say there are a few knickknacks about it. However, it is kind of cool making it easier to type directly into your uh, program panel. However, there are a few knickknacks. So right now, uh, if you press Command T, it basically makes a new title, which is quite easy. And then you can change the text to what you want. So that's easy, easy. However, if I press V, or actually go out of there and press the normal selection tool, this is what you see. The anchor is not in the center of the text. So I can put the text in the middle of the screen by actually I do advise you to press the plus button and drag this icon into here. What it is is the snap graphics uh, button or it turns on snap graphics so you can easily snap your text or the shape that you make like the eclipse or the rectangle tool that you can move it into the center of the video. However, the anchor you cannot snap. It doesn't snap into the center. You need to eyeball it. And if I actually do command C and let the anchor be at its place, if I'm going to transform into the effects control and rotate this, it's going to rotate around that anchor. And it's kind of stupid because I want it to be into the center of the text. So this is something they need to fix. The anchor point just needs to be at the center of the text. Same goes for the ellipse tool. If I make a circle here, hold down shift. So you guys can actually guess where is the anchor. Anchor is actually at the point where I started. So like press the selection tool and the anchor is here up in this corner and if I go to transform and rotate this also it rotates about that corner and I rather it be in the center so I can actually just rotate it or especially with a circle it's kind of useless to rotate it but with the rectangle tool it's kind of be easier if it rotates around the center instead of in that angle. And I'd rather that be like maybe a snap tool. And yeah, you might say, isn't there maybe a, a way to draw the shapes from the center so that the anchor is from the center? So I press this rectangle tool again. I hold down Alt. You can see it in the bottom of the screen that I'm holding down Alt and dragging this. It's not dragging it from the center, uh, making the shape. So it doesn't work exactly like uh, in Photoshop or Illustrator where you can literally hold down Alt to draw something from the middle. So I wish, uh, yeah, Premiere Pro or Adobe to watch this video and learn about this, change the anchor point into the center. However, another thing is basically everything they added already exists inside of Premiere Pro and all this is probably not really needed. Most of you guys have who have followed me actually know I can already animate titles with background objects that are moving uh, as you've seen like um, before and actually I have very advanced one coming up with call outs and lower thirds that are much much more intricate and can actually do as much as the new motion graphics and I'm just saving it as a preset. However with the new system of course, you guys cannot access the old titles, the legacy titles with Command T because Command T will just make a new title 
and it's the new title. To actually, if you guys still want to access the old title, you can go to File, New, and there you have Legacy Title. When you press on it, you get New Title, press OK, and you get the old title again. And the great thing about this is you can put this into center. Actually, I'm going to move this a bit. And this has an anchor that is in the middle. Maybe the text isn't fully in the middle, but that is because this there's a gap inside of that text, but it is quite easy to get it pretty close to center without having to do so much extra steps. And this I can also just animate, rotate much more easily. And you might think, how would you make a circle or a rectangle? That is pretty easy. So if I want to make a rectangle, I can go to new color mat and yeah can choose a color okay so I might think oh yeah you could do it like we can change the uniform scale here and we can actually make this into a rectangle it's so easy so yeah so why make this rectangle tool while well, you could just so easily make a rectangle and of course again this has the anchor in the middle and some of you guys might say so how do you do the ellipse tool or the circle tool so let's change this back to how it was and go into effects and go into video effects generate and there we have circle I'm going to drop this in here and pretty much here we have a circle so and the great thing about this also the anchor is straight in the middle so those tools they added wasn't really needed the only thing yeah even though you can keyframe everything but here we can keyframe everything also and it's not that difficult so personally what I think uh, of the new tools it's not really needed the tools or to get there maybe it's a slightly more steps however it's actually less steps with the anchor so personally yeah on the which I don't think it's really needed the whole new motion graphic system it is interesting to make a motion graphic and then able to change text quite easily however basically I can still do the same with uh, yeah presets that I've done for quite a while now however one thing that they totally removed is how to access templates so you can't even save a title to a title template anymore the button for it actually they have removed it so yeah how to actually still load in uh, yeah title templates is you just can drag and drop them so going into here so this folder has all the title templates I actually made before and yeah this one you can just drag and drop here and I can show you it is a title by double clicking on it and we can just drag this onto the timeline so yeah it's all the system I rather actually still use the old system because it's backwards compatible if I'm like working with a team of people who has like a different version of Premiere Pro for a certain reason because certain people might be using an older version because they're still stuck at a certain project and they don't want to upgrade yet or yeah people that are don't want to get uh, 
the creative cloud and are on creative suit because they don't want to pay the monthly thing the whole templates and the presets system works backwards compatible the new create motion graphic system is only future compatible and yeah pretty much if you are using like the 2015 or 2014 cc you can't really load the new motion graphics so I still be making the presets and everything. However, I probably need to install a older version of Premiere Pro to still access or still make like title templates. However, presets I can still make with the new uh, Premiere Pro CC. But yeah, I have to say, um, yeah, I will try and experiment more with the new motion graphics, but I really hope that Adobe would actually fix those anchor points, make them into the center of the objects and text instead of being it at a odd angle or odd placement of the text or on the objects. So that were my thoughts about the new title system. Hope you guys like this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. Also check out my other videos on this channel. If you have any questions, please comment below and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.